Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, Jason here. Uh, today I'm going to do a book review. And the book I'm talking about is Bad Brains by Kathy Koja. Uh, yeah, this book's been on my TBR for a little bit. Uh, picked it up a couple months ago. I think I talked about it in one of my book haul videos. Um, and uh, I finally got around to, to picking it up, and um, it was great. I, I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, yeah, uh, quickly, I'll just go through like a quick synopsis of how, of, 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 or just a setup of the book. Um, basically, this book is about a guy named Austin, and he is a painter, um, although he hasn't really painted in the last couple of years because he's been just super super depressed um since his since he got divorced from his wife his wife's name's emily and so since since they've been divorced he hasn't really been painting um and he's just been you know whatever working he's been trying to sell the paintings that he has his friend peter is like a curator of a gallery and he shows his stuff, you know, and tries to sell his stuff, but it doesn't really sell. And, um, and anyway, he just works at like a t-shirt shop, you know, for minimum wage or whatever. And, um, you know, that's enough to pay the bills, but it's not really like fulfilling him. He feels, he just, he just goes to work and whatever. Um, so anyway, he's super depressed. He's kind of, he's, he just is isolated. Literally his only friend is Peter. And, um, so he he he's been he drinks a lot and he uh he goes to a liquor store one night and he picks up like a case of beer or whatever um and on his way out the door he trips on the curb and he falls and he hits his head in the street like hard and um and he gets a brain injury and he ends up going to the hospital and all this stuff and like then he's in the hospital for a while because he keeps having seizures and he keeps having um th things like that like as a result of this brain injury um and so they they keep trying to like figure out like medication for him and things that like will help him or whatever um and eventually they like get his seizures under control by medicating him you know they they find the right they find the right dosage or whatever that works and and they and they and they uh and he's and he's and he's not having seizures anymore so they let him go and then he starts to have like hallucinations he starts to see things um starts to see this like silver silver basically like little like either like his tears will be silver in the mirror or he'll start to see like shapes in the mirror or silver or like whatever he's it's silver um and he's like hesitant to tell his doctors about all this because he doesn't want them to think he's crazy because all of his doctors are like yo you're, you're totally physically fine like your brain is fine like everything's functioning normally just keep taking your medication um so he's trying to figure out why this is happening like he yeah so um so he uh decides to go visit his mom in texas so he goes down there and his mom him and him him and his mom don't have like a great relationship um uh but you know whatever she lets him stay there for a few days or weeks or whatever and and while he's down there he meets this guy his name's russell and his and russell uh comes to him and is like hey i think i know what's wrong with you my dad had the same thing my dad was a visionary he saw things uh, I think I can help you. And so he gets he gets in with this guy, Russell, and then they basically most of the book is them traveling around the country trying to find people who can help Austin with his visions and things like that. And so he starts to paint again, he starts to do things like that. He um um he starts painting what he's seeing, the 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 silver guy or whatever that he's seeing and um i don't want to spoil too much because like it has a lot to do with like his paintings and things like that but um 
Yeah. It's from there it just becomes this crazy trip where like he's 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 blacking out and doing things that he doesn't know that he's doing. He'll like black out and then wake up covered in blood and have no idea how he got there. Some of it's his, some of it's other people's. He doesn't know. It's crazy. It's a crazy book. And it's so this book is awesome because as the reader, you're also trying to figure out what's going on because you're it's told from the perspective of Boston, right? Um, and he doesn't know what's going on half the time. Like, he's either unconscious or he's, you know, whatever. Like, there's a lot of, like, half the time he doesn't know what's going on. So he'll just wake up. He'll black out. He'll see some silver thing. He'll black out. And then he'll wake up in, like, a McDonald's bathroom and have no fucking idea what's going on. And um, so part of it is, like, piecing it all together. Like, you got to... You know, he's piecing it together and you're piecing it together at the same time. And the other part is like, he, he might not be that reliable of a narrator. I don't really know. Um, because yeah, there's some stuff that just doesn't really make sense. And then, yeah, so that, that was, that's, that's, that's the gist, um, of the book. Now, uh, Kathy Koja. Her writing is incredible. Um, really, really, like, very literary for horror. Like, she, she's she's a very good writer. Um, and she's really good at making us feel like we live inside of the mind of this guy who's, like, got this brain injury and is, like, paranoid and scared and all this stuff. Like, very short sentences, punchy, like claustrophobic it's very it's very it's it, it really makes you feel like like you're in his head um so that's really great and and it's ambiguous a lot of the times so like like i said like we only know what he knows so some of the stuff that happens we kind of have to piece together um and then that comes into play especially towards the end of the book where I'm not going to spoil it, but a lot of crazy shit happens, and I'm not really sure what happens at the end of the book. Like, I'm still kind of trying to figure out what happened in the last 50 pages of this, because it's weird, and there's a lot of crazy stuff that I don't really quite understand, but that's what's great, is like, I think I could reread this book and get a lot more out of it. I think I could just read the last 50 pages and get a lot more out of it. Um, but yeah, she's, she's a good writer. I really like, I really like Kathy Koja. Um, I'm really excited to read more of her stuff. I've got, um, I've got her novel skin on my bookshelf upstairs, um, that I'm going to read at some point. And then her book, Cypher, which is her first book. It actually was her first book. This was her second novel. Uh, Bad Brains was her second novel. Um, but Cypher was her first novel. Um, that's coming back into print here uh, in a couple of weeks, I think, in like mid-September. And so I'm going to pick that up. I'll probably read that, too. I've heard that's really, really good. Um, it's really hard to find a copy of it, actually. Um, I've looked around, and they're, like, really expensive. Like 60 or eighty dollars on ebay which is a lot for a paperback um so i probably will just buy the reprint um yeah but anyway uh bad brains highly recommend it i think it's a great book um and yeah if you guys have read this book and want to um talk more in the comments please let me know what you you thought and if you guys agree or disagree with any of the things that i said um uh that's all i got for you guys um i'm just gonna leave it at that so thanks for watching like and subscribe if you want to see more horror book reviews or whatever um and i'll see you guys next time thanks a lot peace